This science clip reflects the case study of religious speech as a resource. Looking at the example of speeches given by Shankaracharya of Govardhan Petam, located in the holy city of Puri in India. Govardhan Petam, also known as Govardhan Matha, is one of the oldest monasteries, established by Adi Shankara in Puri, which reflects the age old tradition of Shankaracharya. The campus of Petam is composed of three temples, residential palaces, offices, conference halls, and a common dining area. Many tourists and devotees visit the temple every day, both to see the temple and to hear the religious speeches of Shankaracharya. Nishalananda Saraswati, the present Shankaracharya of Pitam, is the head of the institution as well as the main giver of religious speeches. Every year the Shankaracharya organizes religious speeches locally, called satsang programs. A large audience of devotees comes to the Pitam to hear them. The satsangs are categorized into different types depending on the themes, such as Srimad Bhagavatam, Brihadaranakya Upanishad, and Brahma Sutra. While organizing the satsang references, religious texts such as Bhagavad Gita and Upanishad are always cited. The followers of Shankaracharya and other members of the Pitam also take an active part in organizing the satsang program. At the end of every satsang program, a question and answer session is organized where the Shankaracharya gives answers to queries from the audience. Many devotees from every part of India participate in the satsang programs and integrate the speeches into their daily lives. The speeches are recorded and converted into different media such as CDs, DVDs and books. Govardhan Petam also provides a platform to train future speakers for the institution by educating the young scholars from the present Shankaracharya.